Hey, y'all. Um, you heard me in some of our recent videos talk about my aloe plant, which is absolutely beautiful. This is my mother aloe, and I plan on dividing a lot of these and a lot, all of those over there come from my mother plant here. So, y'all heard me recently talk about this right here. And it is what I was afraid of. I did some research on the web and this aloe plant is trying to go to seed. What that basically means is this little flower here is going to bloom out to a beautiful yellow flower that it's gonna set off seeds. And ultimately that means my mother plant is gonna die because it's gonna put all of its time and energy into um, that flower right there. So what I'm going to do, I want to remove this. Now, I don't know personally, because I didn't do a ton of research. I just wanted to know for sure that this was going to set seed and um, it is. So I don't want to lose my aloe. So I have a hope of taking this off and saving my aloe. Now, I don't know, I know there are some plants that you can only remove so many flowers to lengthen um, your plants for just a longer period of time. So, I don't know how much longer it's gonna extend the life of my aloe plant, but I am gonna go ahead and remove this in hopes that my mother plant will um, stay with us a wee bit longer. All of those over there, I'm also gonna be dividing out. You can see this one right here is obviously way too full. I need to get some of those babies out. So those are gonna be my upcoming chores, but I just wanted to share that little tidbit with y'all that this right here is trying to go to seed. That's gonna, that's in essence going to shorten my um, life of my mother aloe, my plant right here, and I don't want that to happen. So I am going to reach down in there. I probably should have gotten some scissors for this. And I just popped it right out. So now it's gone. And I'll just take this and either give it to the chickens or throw it in the compost. Um, but I'm hoping that what you doing, man? Oh, <laughs> what you doing? You being sneaky down there trying to flay in my dirt? Huh? What you doing? Hey. What you doing, boy? Well, I'm not the only one that likes dirt anyway. I'm hoping that this will lengthen my time. Of my mother aloe, I'm going to do my best to keep y'all posted now that I have this flower that was trying to go to seed on me. Um, very interesting. I've never seen an aloe plant flower slash seed. So very cool. Ah! You can play with it, but don't eat it, little man. I want to show y'all how to divide some aloe plants. So y'all show y'all saw me show you my mother was trying to go to seed, took that off. Now I have this plant and all her babies that have come from my mother plant. So it is time for me to divide these off because these aloe plants need a new home. And I have some people that are interested in buying some of my aloe plants and I take these to market. So I wanna show y'all quickly what I'm doing. I have popped the plant out of the pot and y'all see those beautiful roots. So what I want to do, y'all are gonna see me doing here, is I'm just taking my hands and I'm kind of massaging this dirt and once I get that done, I'm going to gently 
grab one of these bundles and easy, very, very, very easily, I'm going to pull this root system out. You wanna to try to keep as much from here and as much snapping as possible. And I have this very first aloe out. Now, what I plan to do with this is I'm going to lay it up here on my shelf and I'm gonna let, if there was any roots that did snap, that did get damaged in the process of me taking this out, they will heal themselves. So they're going to, they'll seal themselves off basically at the end and then they'll be ready to repot. And I will just take another pot. This one would, of course, be too big for this. So maybe even around this size and I'll repot it in here and I will, I'm not gonna water it for at least a few days, probably two or three days, um, because you want these roots to be good and healed up um, before you put them in soil. I, then I give them a few more days, so I'm gonna leave this up here three or four days. Um, I have researched up to six days, but my pots are on their way. I ordered them from Amazon and I'll attach that link um, because I bought in bulk. So if you have an aloe plant that looks like this and you need to do something with it, order you some pots, divide them up. I'm going to leave this until those roots heal. Okay. Then I'm going to put it in my pot, leave it for another day or two, maybe up to three and not water it. Then I'm going to water it very little very little um and that way it gives my roots time to heal before i start bombarding them with water because you don't want um any disease um aloes themselves don't like a lot of water anyway this soil is moist here and i probably have not watered in a week so very very little maintenance on your aloe plants um they are edible uh, we personally don't, um, we have never consumed aloe plants, but they are edible. Um, I use them for my farmer's market um, because we have an outdoor pool and we live in the south. Um, the kids are outside a lot. I use them to um, refresh in the skin, kind of replenish the skin in the summer if we've been out in the sun a lot. So um, they are definitely great to have on hand very handy in the summer here in the south that's what i'm going to keep working on but i wanted to show y'all kind of what i was doing and how i was doing it um it's been very successful for me in the past as i have said um this plant that i'm working on grew from this same process from my mother plant that is right here and all of these plants all of those aloe plants over there so I have been very successful with this. It, you can see here, I've got three little groups that are being pretty stubborn as far as coming out. So y'all can see how I'm just gonna really work the soil, just really kind of massage, I'm removing as much dirt as I can. And then I just very, very gently just kind of wiggle those I can still feel it's a little tight somewhere up in here. So I'm just coming in and I'm just gonna do the same thing again. Rotate this around and just very, very gently just kind of massage that dirt, kind of loosen up some of those roots. allows me to grab these other ones and just keep working kind of doing the same thing I just wanted to show y'all how you can take these because it's like a big rat's nest you just have to really work that soil massage that soil and kind of work your root system 
and they will loosen up and you can get your little clusters out. And this is what I mean by clusters. You'll see that all of this is together and it has its own root system. And what I'm doing is just trying to free that root system up, just like this one. Now all these were in together, but you can see how this, all these down together. So I will just keep working this and keep turning it. And I'll break some more, massage some more dirt that's in there. All right, see that one has freed up. So I'm gonna lay it down and just keep going. I'm gonna... Aloe plants are pretty much low maintenance and um, extremely awesome on the homestead. So if you don't have an aloe plant, I hope you'll get one. And um, if you do, you probably need to divide it if you haven't. <laughs> um, they do put off babies very, very quickly. Okay, so this is my mother to all of these plants. How awesome is that? So I have this mother and her babies, and I have some pots on the way. And what I'm going to do is when my pots get here, which is going to be a few days from now, I'm going to get all of these plants in these pots. And that will be a few days, like I mentioned to y'all earlier. And then I'm going to wait a few days to water them. But I do want to keep these as much out of the sunlight as I can. So that is dividing aloe. It's really that easy. Hey guys, it's been two days since I've divided my aloe. And I ordered some pots, like I said I was. This is what I consider a small. This is four inch across the top. These are medium. When I have a medium, these are six. I have some eight on the way. So what I'm doing today is y'all saw me divide my aloe and I have some smalls here. So I'm just putting my two smalls together. My roots are pretty good and dried out you can see the aloe still looks wonderful and it has just been resting here since you guys saw me divide and <clears throat> I want to show you what I'm doing to pot these things so I have a small pot for a small two I have two um, because these are going to some customers so just in case one dies um for whatever reason, I have another in there for them. And I'm just taking those and gently placing them in my pot, holding them sturdy with my hand. And I actually have this soil that I'm using right here is from the soil that I massaged out of all these plants. So that's what I'm using right now to refill my buckets because I don't want anything to go to waste. And I'm gonna hold these up where the roots aren't smushed on the bottom and they're standing up in my bucket and then I'm just gonna take my dirt and gently start filling in and then I'm gonna swap sides and gently start filling in on the other side you know you want it to be packy enough for your plants to stand up but you don't want it to be so packy that your soil is so compacted and it's holding a lot of water you want it to not be able to drain uh, very well so here's my small um, I have several customers that are buying small, medium, and large aloe plants from me. What I do not sell in March, um, I'll be packing off in the summer to the farmer's market. Um, it's a good extra supplemental income on our homestead um, because we do have so many mouths to feed here. Um, animals and stuff is what I'm referring to. So it does help that I come out here and do all this work. Um, it blesses people with wonderful aloe plants that um, are so good to use around the home. And it helps us out while we're doing all that. So after I have my aloe plants in the pot, I've been placing them down here in a shady spot. So they're not just getting full sun. And that's pretty important because you don't want them to immediately need a ton of water um, so if you put them directly in the sun, it would really dry that soil out quickly. If you put them in the shade, they can kind of get, those roots can really just kind of get used to the soil without needing a lot of water. 
without a lot of stress and um, I'm gonna keep those there for several weeks before I move them out and just keep a close eye on them I will water these probably in about five days um, if I notice any stress or anything they need water before I can do that otherwise probably in about five days or so I'll come out and water those and I have a lot more aloes to drop in the pots so we're gonna get busy doing that happy homesteading y'all